Principal of Alama Iqbal Medical College, uh, Dr. Javed Akram, for his take on the dengue outbreak and its preventive measures. Thank you for joining us uh, here, Dr. Akram. Now, uh, sir, dengue fever has gripped the country and the number of its victims are increasing with each passing day. Uh, what do you have to uh, say about this constant rise in the disease? Well, as um, you just said, the dengue is a um, more or less a regional epidemic. Uh, and the whole Southeast Asia is affected. Mm -hmm. And um, WHO um, uh, thinks that uh, maybe 2.5 billion people may be at risk of dengue infection in this uh, Southeast Asian belt. Uh, and Pakistan is one of the prevalent countries. The only difference is that in other countries, children are more affected. And fortunately for our children, here mm -hmm. adults are more affected. Um, and we are not seeing that much complications of dengue except the platelet count goes down. Right. Um, it is a, 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 these are four viruses, dengue it means four viruses, the four serotypes. Mm -hmm. And the virus is transmitted from a person who is carrying the virus to the normal in human being through a vector which is generally female Aedes aegypti and alpha peticus. There are two mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the whole prevention is revolves around vector control and control of these um, two vectors. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the most important thing would be the public awareness and education that they must understand the habitat of these vectors, that they are domestic mosquitoes and they mm -hmm. thrive on um, uh, um, clean water. They're not dirty water mosquitoes. And mm -hmm. um, anywhere, wherever there is un you know, open areas where the uh, clean water collects, mm -hmm. like in the bucket, under the air conditioner, in the tray of the desert cooler, or in the refrigerator tray, you know, wherever, and um, flower pots, mm -hmm. um, you know, plants, things like that, uh, waterfalls, swimming pools, they m must be dried out. And uh, in this season, which is neither too cold, neither too hot and humid, these are the ideal situation for these mosquitoes to thrive. Mm -hmm. So I think um, the concept of clean, dry homes, clean, dry schools, dry, clean, dry offices um, and workplace is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And um, I think these days we, um, because we know that this mosquito mostly bites the humans at the dawn and dusk. So at that time, try to cover your body, wear full sleeves. Um, mm. and, and your uncovered areas like hand and face should be used insect repellent like Mosfel, seven to eight drops per application twice a day would suffice. Right. Mm. Uh, right. Uh, Dr. Akram, what are the symptoms uh, for our viewers? If you could tell us uh, what should they uh, definitely go and get themselves checked out if they experience, what are the symptoms of dengue fever? Well, right now, because we are in the middle of the epidemic and uh, unfortunately it has become a very common problem, uh, and the dengue, uh, the word dengue has been derived from Greek uh, language and it means breaking bones. Right. So the most common feature of dengue is fever and then aches and pains all over the body and mm. then vomiting and then rash and then these patients can have severe headaches and uh, they can also get some bruises, bru easy bruisability once their platelet numbers goes down. Right. And um, there is nothing to be alarmed about it. This infection carries a very low mortality, maybe a fraction of the mortality uh, of what is posed by heart disease and blood pressure and things like that. Um, it, the mortality is less than 1%. And uh, most of the patients need not be hospitalized. The only thing they need to do is if they are on aspirin, they mm. must stop it. If they take painkillers for their joints problems like Rufin, or diclofenac, things like that, they must stop those right. because those suppresses the platelets further. And mm -hmm. they should rest and for the pain and fever, no antibiotics are required, only paracetamol, two tablets three times a day. And they should keep themselves well hydrated. Mm -hmm. And also they should try to, uh, the patient must wear um, insect repellent because otherwise the um, uh, you know, the mosquitoes will bite the patient, 
suck the blood along with the virus and then bite somebody else. Pass it on. That is right. Yeah. That's right. right. Thank you so much. That was very informative, uh, Dr. Akram. That was Dr. Javed Akram uh, informing us uh, about what people must do uh, as opposed to a popular uh, uh, opinion. Uh, these mosquitoes actually uh, breed on clean water. So please, uh, people, keep your homes uh, free of any open sources of water lying around. If you have buckets filled with water, please cover them with nets. Uh, use insect repellent. And if you do experience these uh, symptoms, uh, fever, aches, pain, vomiting, rash, and easy bruising, do get yourself checked out for this dengue virus. There are tests available at all laboratories in the country these days.